Hello, welcome to another day of kindergarten and first grade math with Miss Prescott. I'm Miss Prescott. I am one of the first grade teachers at South Shore Pre-K-8 in Rainier Beach. Go see dragons. Um, I'm missing my students so much and I know all the adults, like I said yesterday, are really missing being with you guys every day. So know that we're thinking about you and hoping that you're well. So let's get started with our day today. It's gonna look a lot like yesterday. So I'm gonna pop up our schedule so we can take a look. All right, so number one, see the number one? That says math game, make it 10. So yesterday we played make it 10 with your 10 fingers. Today we're gonna play it with some objects. So I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. Second, we are gonna do a read aloud. We've got a new book today called Get Up and Go. And then third, we'll do some math movement again. Remember yesterday we counted to 100 and we did all of those different movements. And we'll finish up with another quick image. Yesterday you, excuse me, yesterday you looked at um, elevator buttons and some dots. So we will check those out again. And we're gonna keep in mind our mathematical practice from yesterday. And that is to model with mathematics or to think about the different ways we can show our thinking when we are solving a problem. So I can show my work in many ways. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Now we are gonna play Make It 10. Remember yesterday we played this game using our fingers. We would play with a partner and one partner would say, or put forward a number like one. The other partner would have to figure out, okay, how many more fingers do I need to make 10? So if they only had one, they would need nine more fingers to make 10. Today, instead of playing with our fingers, I'm gonna teach you how to play with objects. So you could find any objects in your home, like spoons, shoes, um, leaves, flowers, anything you can find that is appropriate and safe. For me, I went into my backyard and I found pine cones. I thought these were kind of fun because they look like little trees. And I have my friend with me, Mr. Penguin, and he is gonna be helping to explain how to play this game. So Mr. Penguin's back there, he's got some pine cones, and I'm gonna see how many he has, and then I have to figure out how many more pine cones we would need to make 10. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, there's Mr. Penguin, say hi. Hello. All right, let's see, how many pine cones does he have? Count with me. One, two, three. All right, he has three pine cones, and I need to make 10 in all to figure out how many more pine cones do we need. So one strategy I could use is thinking about what I already know. I already know that I need 10 in the end and that I have three right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that 10 up. Put, you, put 10 up with me right now. All right, got your 10. Now we're gonna put down a finger for each pine cone to see how many fingers are still up at the end. And that should tell us how many more pine cones we need. So let's put down one finger for this pine cone, another finger for this pine cone, and another finger for that pine cone. All right, how many fingers do we still have up? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I think I might need seven more pine cones to make 10. Now, just like we've been talking about all day, our mathematics practice is to show our work in many ways. So right here, I showed my work using this strategy, and now I'm gonna double check my work and show it again by counting it up by one. So will you help me make sure that I have seven fingers here and three fingers, or sorry, three pine cones here and that that equals 10 in all? All right, let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. It does. So I know seven and three make 10. So I need seven more pine cones to make 10. All right, let's play it again. Hold on a second while, um, while Penguin gets set up. All right, let's see how many pine cones he has for us now. Okay, count with me, please. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, Penguin's got six. Now I need to figure out how many more to make 10. 
I'm going to try a count on strategy or count up strategy. So if I know there's six and I need to get to 10, I'm going to hold six in my mind. Help me. Hold six in your mind. Now we're going to count up on our fingers until we reach 10. So six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Ooh, I've got one, two, three, four fingers up. Let's check our work. Show our work in another way to see if four and six make 10. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yay! We made a ten again. Nice work, everyone. All right, you can go and play this game anywhere you would like. This is another great one that you don't necessarily need to bring anything with you. Just wherever you're at, check out and see what objects are around, and you can start playing the game. Maybe you're on a walk and you see two roses on a bush. You could then say, hey, if there's two roses on that bush, how many more do I need to make 10 roses? And play like that. There's lots of ways that you can find math all around you. Just gotta keep your eye out. All right, I hope you guys had fun learning a new way to play Make It 10. We're gonna revisit this game again tomorrow. Our read aloud today is called Get Up and Go. It's by the same author of the book we read yesterday, Elevator Magic, Stuart J. Murphy. But this book is illustrated by someone different named Diane Greensid. So this book is about a little girl and her dog named Sammy. The little girl is very sleepy when she gets up in the mornings, but Sammy helps her to get through her morning routine and get ready to go. So let's think about what type of math we think we might see in this book. What might Sammy and the little girl have to solve? And we're also going to be thinking back to our mathematical practice, which is I can show my work in many ways and keep our eyes out for the different ways that Sammy and the little girl might show their thinking. All right, let's get ready to read. So here's Sammy waking up the little girl. You're always so slow. Let's get up and go. Just five minutes more to snuggle with Teddy. If you don't get up, you'll never be ready. A three minute stop, that's all I'll take. I better see how much time that will make. She's already late, so I'd better try to keep careful track of the time going by. So we see on this page that the, t the type of math that the little girl and the, well, especially Sammy the dog are doing is keeping track of time. And so here he says, I can show her five minute snuggle with Teddy like this. He's showing his thinking on a timeline. So he's got a line here and then each one of these marks shows one minute. So if he says five minutes, that means there should be five marks on here. So let's count and see. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And then he says three minutes to wash looks like this. Let's check and make sure it's three. One, two, three. Now I'll put my timelines together. So he's gonna do that to show how much time went by. So how many minutes have gone by so far? What do you think? Let's count it and see if you're correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight minutes have gone by. He showed five minutes and three minutes makes eight minutes. All right, let's keep reading. Then eight minutes to eat. I like breakfast the most. I only wish that you'd toss me some toast. Now two minutes extra to give Sammy a treat. Dog snacks are great. I'm ready to eat. She's going upstairs and still has a lot to do. I'd better keep track of these minutes too. I'll show the eight minutes she took to eat breakfast. All right, let's see if the eight minutes matches the timeline. Count with me. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. And then two minutes to give me a treat looks like this. Let's count it. One, two. I'll put these lines together. How many minutes have gone by? All right, if we add the eight and the two, how many minutes have gone by? Let's count and see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten minutes have gone by. Now I'll add this line to my first line. So remember on our first line, how many did we have? Let's count it all again. And then we've got 10 right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 minutes have gone by. How many minutes have gone by now? We just counted it out and found out it's 18 minutes so far. Then six minutes to brush both my teeth and my hair. You're still running late, but I'm sure you don't care. And seven to dress, that's all I need. Unless you play games or sit down to read. Well, hopefully she doesn't get distracted. She's taking so long, I'm never sure why. I better check how much time has gone by. All right, so we've got some more timelines to add. Six minutes to brush looks like this. Count with me, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I can show seven minutes to dress like this. So showing his thinking again, let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I'll put them together. How many minutes do we have now? How many minutes do we have now? All right, let's count them together. But this time I wanna try a different strategy. Instead of counting each one by ones, let's try counting on. That means we're gonna start with six because we know six, so we can end at the end of that red line and say six, hold that in our head, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Ooh, so 13. Then I'll have to put all my lines together. How many minutes have gone by in all? So we've got our time from before added to the time now. How many minutes have gone by? I'm not gonna have us count this one since we're gonna add even more minutes and then we're gonna count that all in the end. But right now, if you'd like to try to figure it out, go for it. All right, let's keep going. Now four minutes to pack all the things I can find. Make sure that you don't leave your homework behind. A one minute hug and I'll be out the door. I wish you had time for just one hug more. She's finally on her way. She was almost too late. Now that she's off, everything will be great. I'll show four minutes to pack. Let's check it, one, two, three, four. Then I'll show my one minute hug, one. If I put them together, they'll look like this. So there's our four and one. How much do we have? What is four plus one? I think it's five. Let's count and check. One, two, three, four, five. Next, I'll put all the lines together. Now, how many minutes have gone by in all? All right, so look at our timeline at the bottom. That shows how many minutes have gone by. How many do you think have gone? Give you just check it a second to look for yourself, and then we'll move on. Don't worry, we'll count it all in the end. Now, I know how much time she took to get ready from the time she woke up and snuggled with Teddy. She took five to snuggle, three to wash, eight to eat, two for a treat, six for a brush, to brush her hair and her teeth, seven to get dressed, 
four to pack, one to hug. That's 36 minutes and my work was done. Let's double check his thinking. So he showed us his timeline here, which he had showed us through the whole book, but then he labeled those different amounts of time, what she was doing in each of those parts, in each time part. So let's count and make sure that he was correct with 36. All right, we'll start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. So it took her 36 minutes to get ready. Now she's off to school and I'm feeling fine. Fine, the rest of the day is totally mine. Awesome. Well, that was interesting to see how Sammy shared his work and his thinking about the time that went by as they were getting ready. All right, let's move on to our next activity. All right, for our math movement, we are going to count again. We're gonna get fit and have some fun while we count to 110 by ones. Yesterday we counted to 100. Today we're gonna to challenge ourselves and count to 110. If you don't know how to count over 100 yet, you can just go along with us and say the words, or say the numbers after we say them. Um, but if you do, count and practice with me, please. We are going to do different movements for each decade. So that means when we hit 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100, I'll tell you a different movement to do. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started with rainbow arms, just like yesterday, and then I've got some other ones mixed in. All right, let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and now pump arms, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and we're gonna do arm circles, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, shoulder shrugs, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Now pump elbows back, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Now march in place, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Now twist, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. Now we're gonna try windmills. So opposite hand, opposite uh, foot or knee. So 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. Now we're gonna jog in place. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. Now we're gonna clap in place up high. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Now we're gonna do rainbow arms for our last 10. 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, and 110. Nice job, everybody. Challenging yourself with 10 extra uh, numbers today. Remember, this is an activity you can do at home. 
just remember not to do too hard of a workout in the beginning because then you might get a little too winded. But I think we hopefully all stuck in there and did a great job. All right, see you soon. Our last activity today is quick images. You remember yesterday we did this activity and we looked at two different pictures. Today we are also gonna look at two different pictures or images and try to figure out how many of whatever item is in them, how many are there. So yesterday you looked at pictures of dots and pictures of elevator buttons. And today we'll have two different ones. So remember when we're doing a quick image, I'm gonna put the image up here and you are gonna get four seconds to look at it. So you're gonna look at it quickly, try to figure out how many you see. Then I'm gonna put it back up there. That's when you can, you'll get a longer time to look at it. You can revise your thinking. Maybe you don't see, you, that first one was really fast and you didn't get to really see it. That's okay, revise your thinking. Maybe you get it right and you saw the first, the first time you counted, you got the same number then as you did the second time. If that's the case, go ahead and look up at the image and think of other ways to see that image. So remember, we're still working on our math practice which is I can show my work in many ways. So there's more than one way to see these images. That's the great thing about them. So we're gonna get started. Our first image is of some food called humbao. It's a Chinese food. So you're gonna go ahead and look at the image and try to figure out how many you see in this box. All right, remember only four seconds this time. Here we go. All right, how many humbao do you think you saw? All right, let's go ahead and look again and see how many there are. All right. So maybe you're revising your thinking right now. Maybe you're looking at this and trying to find other ways to see this number. Let's talk about how many there are. If you said there are 10, you are correct. There are 10 humbao in this picture. And let's talk about different ways that we possibly could have seen them. So I'm sure you guys have many different ways at home. You can share those with your family. Um, maybe some of the ways that I'm about to share with you are the ways you saw. You can always do a me too to show that you agree with that. So here we go. I see, I saw 10 as we said, and this is how I saw them the first time. I saw, I saw four right here, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then I saw four again right here, one, two, three, four, and then I saw two more right here, and I knew this doubles fact right here, doubles are to, when you add the same number to each together. So this is four plus four doubles. Four plus four equals eight, plus two more equals eight, nine, 10. So that's how I saw 10. Let's think about what is another way we could have seen this. Maybe you counted by ones. You could have said one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Yeah, let's try one more way. I was looking at this and trying to think of other ways to show my thinking. And I'm also thinking maybe I could count by twos because I see how these two right here are together. Two, four, six, eight, and 10. Why don't you try that with me, counting by twos. Start here. Two, four, six, eight, and ten. All right, let's try our next image. All right, I'm going to hold this one up for four seconds and then take it away, and then we'll look at it again and discuss it. All right, get ready. All right, I'm going to show you again. If you need to, you can revise your thinking. If you get the same number twice, think about the different ways that you can see this image. All 
right. So how many elevator buttons do we see in this image? If you said eight, you are correct. Now let's look at the different ways we could see this. This is kind of reminding me of the picture before of the humbau and how there was four and four. And I know from before when we were talking that four plus, I'm thinking of another way to show my thinking right here, four equals eight. Yep. All right, let's think of another way we could have counted this. I'm sure you've got lots of ways at home. Maybe you saw another double instead of four plus four, maybe you saw three, and three make six, plus two more make eight. Let's try that, three plus three plus two. I'm gonna write that one down too. Three plus three plus two. Ooh, three digits we're adding right there. And that we realized equaled eight, because three plus three is six, and two more is eight. Awesome. All right, if you thought of another way to see this that I didn't cover, go ahead and share that with somebody that you're with right now. If you don't have somebody to share it with, maybe you've got a friend like Penguin that you could share it with, and let him know. Awesome work today, you guys, on everything we did. I'm excited that we get one more day together to do some math learning. So I hope to see you then. Take care and have a great day. Bye.